What is up, boys and girls? It's Troll and Rhino here, and today I'm going to be giving you the Collecting a Dream achievement in Halo Wars 2. Now, this achievement is for collecting all the skulls in the game. Uh, not very many people have got this, so I'm hoping this achievement guide will help you guys out find it. So, the first skull is in the second mission, A New Enemy. So this skull is the Grunt Birthday Party skull, and what you have to do is you have to capture four power nodes as soon as you build this first, uh, your first base here. Once you get the base, you'll either these power nodes will just pop up randomly, or, or like they'll pop up on your mini map and you'll see them, or you actually have to scout and see one, and then all the others will pop up. But anyways, they'll pop up. All you have to do is capture all four nodes, and then as soon as you're done doing that. You have the first skull. Now there's two skulls in the next mission, which is the mission Ascension. And what you have to do is... Actually, sorry, the skull is called Pain Train. And this is for destroying a hidden facility kind of type thing. So what you have to do is try and make a whole bunch of hornets, like your flying units, and fly over to this little island right over here. So once you made your first base, make a bunch of hornets, fly right over here, and there's just a little hidden base and ab destroy absolutely everything over there. You only need like four or five hornets. It's not very hard to get. So once you do that, there's a skull. And now the next one is for um, destroying the banished base that's like way past the B point, just like north. If you're looking at the minimap, it's north of it. So don't even worry about the points A, B, or C. They well, even if the enemy maxes it out, like gets to the 200 points or whatever it is, the game won't end. It'll never end until you get your score. So just ignore those. Go straight to the base in the north. And then once you destroy that, you've got another skull. Now the next skull is on the mission 130. That's the fourth mission. And to do this one, you have to... Uh, collect the four groups of prisoners so you'll see it on your map as you're playing there you basically run into them you have to get them so you'll find the four groups and then protect all of them at this very last point don't let anyone die it's kind of hard so what I did was I put um, some of those big mechs in the trenches and then I had my hero basically all by herself fighting everyone else. I did all this on easy. The skulls are hard to get on any other difficulty. So I would say get them all on easy. And yeah, this is all you do. You have everyone go to the back and then just have your hero in the front with one of the, like the mechs helping her out. And that's about all you need for that skull. So the next skull is on the mission, the car cartographer. That's mission five. And what you have to do is destroy the mini bases in this place. So once you basically open up all these barriers, get to the end, and you there's this one last uh, node for you to destroy, don't destroy it, and go off on the left and right path, and right there you'll find the mini bases. There's two mini bases there, you kill them both, and then that's that skull. It's as easy as that. So the next skull is located in Lights Out. This is for releasing all the UNSC prisoners. Uh, I would recommend just looking at the map right now, seeing kind of where I'm at, because this is the only location you'll probably miss the UNSC uh, prisoners. Once you get them, you should have the skull, because from before, you would have already unlocked them like you had to. You walked right by them, unless you ignored them, but I doubt it. So... Once you've once you come to this area, there's three little groups. You break them all out, and you should have the skull for this mission. So the next skull is from the mission from the deep, and this one is for completing the mission without Spartan Alice being downed. Now this really isn't that hard at all. You can either have your hero sitting by the base and not doing anything, or just have her in the back line basically the whole time so she never takes damage. Other than and play it on easy, like she'll never die. <laughs> So, other than that, that's really all you have to do. Just make sure she doesn't die the entire mission. Now, there's two skulls in this next mission, which is Mission 8, Hold the Line. So, the first one, I'm going to tell you, you're probably, you're going to get this one if you get the other one. So, this first one is to keep the particle cannon above 50% health. That's not that hard. 
Especially if you're trying to get the skull before it, which is keep the barricades intact. So, I'll give you guys a few tips. Uh, there's two barricades, basically like two frontline barricades. You can't have those get destroyed. The one on the bottom right kind of area, a lot of vehicles go flying, like running at that one. So if you just have a butt ton of hornets sitting there, you'll probably do pretty well because hornets destroy those vehicles. And then there's no anti-air, at least on easy because I played it on easy. And the middle one, just basically have all your other units and then have some units defending your base because some guys come straight at your base. So, other than that, that's how you get that. Just that keeps those barricades intact. And then you'll also get the other skull once you finish the mission. Now, the next skull is in the mission under the dark. This is mission nine. And what you have to do is you have to eliminate the three brute warlords. Now, the first one you'll find uh, as when you're these snipers and the one hero character, can't remember his name, but you go basically all the way to the north and you'll find them behind a rock. You'll fight them and then you'll kill them. I have it here on the map. You can see it. And now I will jump to the second one, the second warlord. Once you start as Alice, which is basically once you go through everything with these characters, you jump to the other side of the map. You go all the way to the right-hand side, so east, I guess that would be, if you're looking at the map. And you'll, fight, you'll find power nodes, you'll find uh, barriers, stuff like that. The warlords are both on the right-hand side, so just don't even go to the objectives of the mission. Just head over to the right-hand side, you'll fight there, there'll be a warlord, and then you're going to have to go through a barrier, and then either... You might have to go through the next barrier, or you can just kill the warlord, like, through the barrier, or past the barrier, because that's what I did. So, there you have it. If you look at the map, you'll see all the locations of where I was at, and that is the skull for that mission. Now, there's two in this next mission, the Foundry, mission 10, and the two ways to get these skulls are to keep the Scarab's health above 25%, and keep the scarab alive during the entire mission so these are extremely easy on easy of course because your scarab almost never loses health it's pretty much invincible on easy just keep it in your back line if you have to and yeah that's all you got to do to get two skulls on this mission now the next skull is on the mission the halo and so all you have to do in this one is rescue bravo base which is extremely easy like always, they're all pretty easy. You just got to play through the campaign again. And what I did was capture a point, and then I went straight north from my original base to where Bravo is. It's in the top right. And all you have to do is basically go to every corner of where enemies are coming in and kill them. That's all you got to do. And once you've done that, you have a skull. Um, I'm not sure if Bravo base opens up f after a time limit, like if you can just run straight up there, but... It gives you a little prompt that they're getting attacked, and then that's when you can go over and start defending them. You don't see the base on your mini-map until that prompt pops up. So, just a heads up in case you guys aren't seeing it right away. You, you might have to wait a little bit of time or capture at least one point. Now, for the very last skulls, this is on mission Last Stand. So what you have to do is keep the control room shield over 50%, which isn't too bad if you have everyone kind of guarding every entrance. It probably won't even get attacked once. Now the other one is to kill the two brute warlords and stop their reinforcements. So as you'll see, I went off to the right and to the left of the base, and that is where the warlords are, and they're super easy to kill because you have a crap ton of reinforcements and yeah so you'll destroy those and then that will also give you another skull and that should be the last of the skulls for you and that should be the achievement and i hope this helped you guys out getting this achievement if not then i'm sorry i tried to explain it the best i could i will see you guys in some more halo wars 2 achievement videos Bye bye